got he's got no flaws. What knows that she cheated? Are you clueless? <laughs> Welcome back, super friends and super family. I'm Nick, and today I'm reacting to Friends Season 4, Episodes 13 and 14. Rachel and Monica lost their apartment to Joey and Chandler. I mean, that's kind of the big thing that just happened. And I'm interested to see how... Is that going to be continued? Is it just going to be as simple as we flipped sides, you know what I mean? And we mix things up for where the characters are going to be shot in the scene? Or I guess who has the leadership in different apartments? Or is that going to be something that, you know, maybe Monica and Rachel will think of a scheme where they can trick Joey and Chandler to get their apartment back or do a rematch type of bet. I don't, I'm not sure if they're going to focus in on that storyline or if that's just going to be kind of an extra background thing that we now see changed in the show moving forward. Either one could be very interesting. And then, of course, Phoebe. I mean, Phoebe is having a kid. I feel like this is kind of like a season arc. I mean, it's having a kid is a big chapter in anyone's life. And for Phoebe, you know, going through different stages of pregnancy, I'm sure there's going to be different feelings, maybe, especially because the baby is not going to be a baby she keeps. I don't know. I feel like we're definitely going to see more of that storyline as well. I'm interested to see how things turn out. As always, if you want to support the channel, the link to my Patreon Patreon is in the description down below. That's where you can watch the full reactions as well as future reactions of Friends if you don't want to wait. For now, let's get into today's reaction. Friends, Season 4, Episodes 13 and 14. She is the star of the play, and she is my girlfriend. I get to have sex with the star of the play. <laughs> People can hear you. I know. I gotta like how he's proud. <laughs> I hope she does well. Is this gonna be a play like Joey's play? I mean, this could go anywhere. Hi. Hi. That is one good looking man. Oh, I know what's gonna happen now. Can you actually see his abs through his overcoat? <laughs> That's just you. You're my first. Put the money on the table. <laughs> Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what kind of play is this? <laughs> Dude. Uh, also, the acting sounds pretty bad. <laughs> if you want it to be. Oh. <laughs> Here's your girlfriend's button. <laughs> oh, dang. This is going to complicate things. Right when I've been celebrating how happy Chandler is with Kathy. I mean, hopefully he's not jealous. It's just acting. Don't go all Don Draper, Megan Draper in this scenario, please. Oh, we added this to the intro. Look at that. Oh, dang. There's some cool changes. <laughs> That was a great moment, man. Joanna, RIP to Joanna. And that episode with Chandler and Rachel in her office was, oh, that was so funny. Such a great situation. I like the mix up of the intro here too. You still have like your old blouses and dresses from high school? Yeah, I think I have some around here somewhere. Why did she save them? It's just maternity clothes are so expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, no offense, Monica. If you could just- <laughs> Oh, she's still mad about the apartment, right? Bloomingdale's eliminated my department. Oh, what? God, are you out of a job? Oh, dang. Stuck me in personal shopping, which is just a huge step down. Oh, that sucks. You can't eat our food anymore. The gravy train has ended. Is gravy? <laughs> apartment, and you have to deal with people coming over all the time. That fridge has got to be stocked. That seems like a fair deal. Although, Monica, you're really going to eat that chicken that Joey grabbed? I'm surprised. What are you doing? I think I left a donut up here. <laughs> that does not surprise me. <laughs> Like somebody literally wrote down my worst nightmare and then charged me $32 to see it. They had to pay 32 bucks for that acting. And he's going to try to undermine me. You know, he'll be like, so where's your boyfriend? What's his name? Chester? <laughs> I mean, maybe. Chandler, and he'll go, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is a good trick. <laughs> Joey's like pro at that move. Just because they work together doesn't mean they're going to get together. Just because it happened with like Susan Saran. Tell that. Tim Robbins doesn't. Yeah, Jennifer Aniston, for goodness sakes, with Brad Pitt. Alec Baldwin and Kim Basinger. <laughs> What movie were they in together? Nicole Kidman. Yeah. What movie were they in together? I thought they were together with Eyes Wide Shut. And Clint Eastwood. When did they work together? They're not a couple. Okay, I get the game now. Mm. <laughs> when two actors are actually doing it off stage, then all the sexual tension between them is gone. Is that the rule? Stage. You got nothing to worry about. That's some Joey logic. Have I ever had chemistry on stage? No. No! no. <laughs> 
but I think that's due to different things, right? I don't know how comfortable I am going to see sexes between some guy and your girl. Yeah, I know. But oh, no, 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 oh, I'm there. Oh. You made pancakes? Yep, grab a plate. Okay. Are they good pancakes? <laughs> okay, how many pancakes are going to be wasted? <laughs> Muffins, waffles, and jams, jellies, and marmalade. Hey, they went all Fairly out. Fairly the same thing. <laughs> tricks? Oh, dude, I haven't had tricks for years. I was thinking about having people over for the game. Who's playing? The players. <laughs> Somebody seems to be missing being the hostess. <laughs> Please. She definitely misses it. All right, beep, stick out your plate. Oh. Tell me he gets it. Nice catch. That was good. <laughs> I just helped an 81-year-old woman put on a thong and she didn't even buy it. <laughs> I'm quitting, that's it. I'm talking to my boss right now. Yes, I am, yes, I am. Don't quit. Okay, bye, call me when you get this message. Don't quit, look for other work. You have a customer. Who? Hi, I'm Joshua. Hi, I'm Rachel Green. What could I do for you? Oh, I thought she recognized him for a second. I need a whole new wardrobe. My wife, well, my ex-wife. Oh, he's available. Sorry. <laughs> He's very happy. <laughs> <laughs> I got away with two things. This suit turned out to be a uh, skirt. <laughs> really? There wasn't much fun dropping it off the dry cleaners in the skirt. <laughs> so I... She's like, everything you say is so funny. I'm, uh, I'm all yours. He's like, oh, I am willing. <laughs> Rachel, you needed to speak to me. No, no, that wasn't me. <laughs> That wasn't me. Let me show you my underwear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> A Freudian slip. Oh. <laughs> this way. <Yeah>. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Rachel when she's like this. Now, you know what this means. Joey told us what this means. Oh, Joey doesn't know everything. Here she comes. Don't say a word, okay? Just be cool. Yes, please. Get on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't be yourself. Wasn't Nick funny when he couldn't get his match lit? <laughs> <laughs> good self-control, bro. Mm. <laughs> I love the play. <laughs> Clearly, you're having sex with him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if I was Ross, I would bail too. Dude. I'm having sex with him? Oh, come on. It was so obvious. Don't. Accusing me of cheating on you and you're insulting my performance. <laughs> Yes. How can you not trust me? Well, you can understand, given how we started. Oh, wow. Dang. Why don't you call me when you grow up? Don't expect that to happen anytime soon. <laughs> That's pretty honest. <laughs> he realized what he just said. Dang, oh. really? That's really what they're doing with the two of them? The most adorable guy came over today, and I got to dress him up all day. How's Ross gonna feel about it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I could get a Rachel doll, and I'd bum them together and make kissing noises. <laughs> Oh, and he's got the most beautiful name. I never realized. Oh, really? He's got he's got no flaws. He's got no flaws. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, what do I smell? Oh, not a bad tactic. Hot from the oven. Ooh. Please have some. Oh, yo. Good. I mean, fresh cookies do smell and taste delicious. The new Playboy. Yeah, just something I picked up. Oh. Cookies and porn? You're the best mom ever. <laughs> <laughs> what? Joshua said about V-necks. Pretend to be there. What did he say? Joshua. Oh. Whatever. <laughs> wait, wait, this isn't takeout. Yeah, come on, at least stay for a little bit. I've got porn for you too. <laughs> yeah, I don't need it. <laughs> when I'm finished with this place, it's gonna be ten times better than that place. We gonna trash their place? I mean, that could be fun. Steps. Slut. Chandler, Chandler, come on, man. Don't ruin this. You'll all be very happy to hear that Kathy is sleeping with that guy. She's not. So then I went over to Beefsteak Chulies. Beefsteak Charlie? Yes. How drunk is he? I've always been like... <laughs> Is this really? They're just gonna end it with Chandler and Kathy? I mean, that's so depressing. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she does offer eventually. I just feel bad. I never vacuum. 
<laughs> Rachel, that's incredible. He has not asked me out. Why don't you ask him out? Yes, good idea. That's such a turn on. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Seem desperate? Ooh, that's the turn on. <laughs> You've never asked a guy out? No, have you? Thousands of times! <laughs> Thousands, Phoebe, good for you. Sounds too good, does it? <laughs> I look a woman up and down and I say, Hey, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> I don't know if she's playing along or if that's sincere. I'm gonna call him up and I'm gonna ask him out. Yeah, why not? Ask him out. How you doing? <laughs> Please tell me that's what she says. Come on. Um, I was just wondering if you, um, if you, um... Come on. No, come on. Do it. Left your wallet at the store today? Oh, she bailed. This license belongs to a, uh, Phoebe's. <laughs> Phoebe's happy. It's like, you use my name. That's cool. <clears throat> You've done that a thousand times. I've never done that. <laughs> I just got so nervous that he was gonna say no. Well, you gotta give him something he can't. I mean, he might, but... Invite the guy to a Knicks game. You guarantee he'll say yes. Really? You think that'll but work? But you don't want him to go just because he wants the Knicks tickets. What the heck is that? Sorry. Monica's cleaning, right? <laughs> what movie did they just finish? Well, maybe, maybe I should call her. No, forget Why not? You don't need her. You don't need that. Oh. What he did was unforgivable. No one knows that she cheated. You know, what if, what if I was wrong? Oh, Blockbuster Video. That's all you're basing this on? That's not backing me up. I mean, come on. It's ridiculous. <laughs> that was just a theory. There's a lot of theories that didn't pan out. Yeah, don't take everything Joey says super seriously. <laughs> Geometry. <laughs> Geometry didn't work out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you know, it's funny, basketball, because I happen to have tickets to... No, 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 Who likes the Nick? <laughs> Do that one. <laughs> As a single woman who is available. <laughs> oh, yeah, you look great. Keep touching him. <laughs> oh, yeah. They would make a pretty good looking couple, you know? <laughs> all right, well, thank you so much oh. for all your help. Come on, do it. Do it, Rachel. Maybe I'll see you in the spring, you know, with the, uh, for the bathing suits. Well, well you don't want to do that now? Plan ahead. Anyway, hopefully I'll, I'll see you around sometime. Basketball! Yes, just say it. Who cares? If he likes you, he'll go out. Two tickets to the Knicks game tonight if you're interested. She did it. That would be great. Really? But... Fantastic. Oh. My, my nephew is crazy about... The oh, my gosh. <laughs> This is what? Thank you so much, Rachel. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> Did that guy seriously just take those tickets like that? I mean, are you clueless? Is he just not interested? How? How? I just, I just wanted to come over to, to say that I'm sorry. Good start. Acted like the biggest idiot in the world. Good. I really wish you'd called me. Yeah, I know. I, I wish. Is she cheating on him? Is that going to be the twist? Because we've had our first fight and now we can move on. You know, I mean, I know for me. Wow. OK. Wow. I misjudged her. I think our second fight is going to be a big one. Don't even bother. Just leave. That sucks, though. Wow. What do you say? I have an extra ticket. Not two tickets. I have an extra ticket. Oh, dang it. So the first time you asked a guy out, he, he turns you down? <laughs> <laughs> He's at the game, isn't he? I got the date. I'm just not on it. Um, well, kind of a critical part. Ready. What's ready? Just come. How nice is it gonna be? I hope it's nice. Oh, oh did you what did you work for two days straight? She did a good job. What, what do you think of the floor? I don't know, it looks the same. <laughs> oh come on, come to on. Have carpet. Oh yeah. <laughs> I need snacks. Oh. This is so great. Monica is a great host. Mom, do you want us to uh, come back later? Stay, stay, keep talking. I'm always the hostess. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm saying that she is a devil woman. <laughs> You know, I mean, you think you know a person, then they turn around, they sleep with me. I mean, I totally misjudged her, too. And I hate her. Well, I don't hate her. I love her. This is all my fault, really. It's not your fault. It's her fault. She never would have gone out with Nick, and they wouldn't have ended up in bed together. I threw her at his man. I don't agree. <laughs> That's a funny lie, though. Honey, this is not your fault. Yeah. You guys had a fight does not justify her sleeping. Exactly. 
cut to Ross. Well, if if she thought they were on a Oh break. my gosh, don't make this moment about you. <laughs> oh, that is an amazing end, though. Uh, Joshua Bergen, will you call him? Yes, I will, absolutely. Is this actually going to work out for her? Did he do it on purpose? No way. He would have asked her on a date if he actually liked her. Okay, Hello, Rachel. Hi, Joshua. Oh my gosh. I left my wallet here on purpose. Really? Yes, I just wanted to see you again. <laughs> Rachel, I'd like to say something to you. Yes. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Wow, what a way to tie in that line. That is some good writing. And also, that's a new sight to Rachel. We haven't seen that before. Classic struggle between men. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Someone knocked over a lamp. <laughs> I love it. Ross abuses himself. I'm doing a movie with Charlton Heston, Dad. What are you doing with your life? Wow. Is he really? You don't have to stop having fun just because I'm here. Kathy didn't cheat on all of you. Well, except you. <laughs> oh shoot, that's right, that's right. <laughs> they understand. Maybe you can go fishing next week. There's nothing I can do for him right now. He's still in his sweatpants. That's only phase one. True. I'll be back for phase two. I would never miss phase two. What's phase two? What's phase two? Yeah. Getting drunk and going to a strip club. Oh, okay. <laughs> Joey's like, I'm down for that part. Would you give me one minute, please? <laughs> They're probably like, you know how animals can sense when you're like upset or sad? That's probably what they're doing, keeping him company, trying to comfort him. I'm surprised though. I honestly thought that Kathy was going to be in the show at least a little bit longer, but heck, I guess not. This is one of the great moments of Friends. Come on. There we go. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> this one is large. <laughs> and, uh... Also large? Yeah. <laughs> I have tickets for the opera, Die Fledermaus. Huh? <laughs> I really do. Oh, yes, of course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Is this going to be the same night that he happens to ask her out? So? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's giving so many signs. Gloves? Oh, right. <laughs> do you have any plans for tonight? No, nothing. I mean, in this nightclub and it's opening tonight, would you like to come? That would be great. You're into hardcore S&M, right? <laughs> Well, I, I get, I get. I'm kidding. I'm, oh, okay. <laughs> Put you on the VIP list, okay. okay? Look for me. Yeah, great. You betcha. I'll see you tonight. Okay. But you're gonna jeopardize your job. For you and Emily, tonight, deflate a mouse. <laughs> oh. Have a uh, Phoebe or Monica go instead. Out of the three tenors. <gasps> oh, <okay. laughs> that would be me, because I have no idea what he's talking about. I can't believe Kathy did this to me. I really thought that she was the one. Say, I'm surprised. I am too. Okay, from now on, this chair is the one. <laughs> My sweatpants. <laughs> they never cheat on you. Just take them off and we'll have some fun. Phrasing. Serious phrasing. Three days on the lake without a shower. Plus, I fell into that big tub of worms at the bait stand. Oh, oh, go shower now. <clears throat> hey, buddy, how's it going? <laughs> Oh, good. It worked. It worked. You got him moving. Joey's a good friend. Daddy, just need this pal to come home. All right. <laughs> Me and Charlton Heston, bright and early tomorrow, baby. Yeah, you yeah. do. How old is Charlton Heston, right? He must have been up there even when this came out. That I would take his niece, dumb old opera. So, what are you going to do? <laughs> Cancel. Help me. I can't. I have to work. I would, but I get my morning sickness in the evening. Ugh. What? What? What is that? This is my one chance for him to see the fun. Rachel. You know, they wouldn't it be great if she were my wife, Rachel. <laughs> She's really thinking about this a lot. Chandler's still in phase one, and Joey's that thing you smell. <laughs> oh, Ross is the only guy. You gotta be Hi. kidding me. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, so? tell me she has to beg. No. <laughs> You want me to take some girl I've never met to the opera, so you can go to a- What if she's gorgeous? Hmm. Yeah, that, that is a toughie. <laughs> I'm looking down the hall. <gasps> she looked right at me. She can't see you. You can't see yeah. through that little hole, can you? <laughs> Hello. You can hear someone, though. <laughs> it's a soundproof. I thought we got into a place where we could be happy for each other. I mean, was that just me? All right, I'll do it. Oh, oh dang. See, Ross is cool. I've been strict searched at John F. Kennedy Airport. Oh, dang. I look like someone who's got a balloon full of cocaine stuffed up their bum. <laughs> 
bad impression of our country. I, I, I think you look great. <laughs> it was very nice to meet you all. Oh, come on, say something. Don't let her leave. Don't I just love the way they talk? Ooh. <laughs> I get what you're saying, Phoebe. Come on. Oh! What? It kicked! I think the baby kicked! Oh my god! Oh dang! I overslept! I was supposed to be on the set a half an hour ago! I gotta get out of here! Go, Joey, go! Look, I don't I fell asleep before I could take a shower, now I don't have time. No, 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 no. If I run, I can make it. Run ten blocks, that'll help the smell. Wait, 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 wait. Slow down! No, keep moving. <laughs> well, I didn't see Joshua. What do you mean? I did punch a girl in the face. What? Well, interesting night. And when I got there, there was no Rachel Green, but there was a Rachel Greep. Oh, so did you get to meet her? <laughs> no, there is no Rachel Greep. She was all, I'm Rachel Greep, I'm Rachel Greep, and he let her right in. Oh, dang. Big bitch behind me tried to steal my umbrella. So I clocked her. Nice. I wish I could have seen that scene, honestly. Honey, that's your name. That's short for Phoebe? I thought that's just what we called each other. What? <laughs> hey, you're wearing pants. Oh that's right. We're the guys. I'm ready to get drunk and see some strip. He's on phase two. I got a breakfast buffet. You go to a strip club in the morning? I, are they even open? He's with Emily at a bed and breakfast in Vermont. What? Oh my god. Really? But who the hell is Emily? <gasps> no! <laughs> that was a great reaction, Rachel. How did this happen? Ow. <laughs> How did he end up in Vermont with that awful witch? <laughs> and hit him all the time. <laughs> She's just being expressive, okay? okay? There's a deer just outside eating fruit from the orchard. There's a deer just outside eating fruit from the orchard. He's not lying. She is in a super good mood. I don't get this. She was horrible. Okay, I'm going to go stand over there. <laughs> Why do you care so much anyway? I don't care. Hair. Yes, you do. When you first met Barry, you lit it off to veil. Just for once, not remember every little thing. <laughs> I swear, Rachel is so good this season, man. You know what? I knew something like this was going to happen. What are you doing? Oh, he's got sweatpants ready? You're thinking about time. You can't go back in time. <laughs> Why don't you do your phase two strip club thing with us? No, you can't. <laughs> You don't want to be guys. You'd be all hairy and you wouldn't live as long. <laughs> That's true. What's the average, the difference in lifespans on average? Get those off and you come with us and watch naked girls dance around. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's in a very vulnerable spot right now, emotionally. Joey Triviani, I'm here, I'm here. You smell, dude. Just say he's like uh, in character, you know, hopefully his character smells. Look at that. Charlton Heston eating a licorice whip. Wait, is that really Charlton Heston? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. What the hell is that? That's not gonna work, dude. You? Uh, yeah. Actually, you know who I think it is? You? <laughs> no, no. You're gonna blame Charlton Heston? Heston. <laughs> I've never seen him when he's this age, to be honest. He's the only one around here with a shower in his dressing room. Really? Shower, huh? Oh. Well, which room might that be? The one with Heston on it? Interesting. <laughs> How is this gonna go? How is this gonna go, man? Hi, that, that. Um, you have to put that out. Why? Uh, uh, it's not my baby. <laughs> 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 that worked, that worked. Really, really. <laughs> Very exotic. They're so supportive. But you would think he would be worried about me not showing up at a Yeah. Ross is all happy and Vermont. Come on, look where you are! <laughs> sick. Another round of daiquiris. Remember, um, virgin for me, please. <laughs> Let me leave without getting the name of that carpet guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the most unique uh, customers ever. And then after that, I'm gonna be so drunk, I'm gonna wanna call Janice. You should, how is she? Oh. <laughs> call Janice, please tell me that's where this episode goes. It's pretty cool, though, I'm not gonna lie. This could be awkward. Just a little. Hello? He's got a... <laughs> How you doing? Nice to meet you, big fan. Put some pants on, kids, so I can kick your butt. Dang, dang. Every actor thinks he stinks. Even Laurence Olivier, sometimes. Oh, that's not what he's talking about. Oh, no, 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 you don't understand. Listen to me. No, yeah. <laughs> 
matter how badly you think you stink, you must never, ever bust into my dressing room and use my shower. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm... Take your pants. Yeah, ahoy. <laughs> I thought he was going to give some sage life advice. Thanks to you, the hottest cocktail waitress there is quitting to teach the third grade. <laughs> because we're girls. Yeah? Okay, do you know what girls are really good at? Stripping. <laughs> it would really, really help if you would just talk. It's your support group. It's like what he broke up with Janice. On in there. <laughs> I really like that fighter pilot one. You know, I think if I were gonna be with a woman. <laughs> now he's listening. She was, oh, she was just so cheat. <laughs> For me, it would have to be Chantal. <gasps> oh, Chantal. Chantal. Yeah. This no. might be working. Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. Stuck that dollar bill in her G string and grazed her thigh. Face ring! <laughs> <laughs> no way. I'm totally picturing you with all those women. <laughs> I'm there too. <laughs> we all together like in a group? Stop it, they're killing me. <laughs> okay, I just moved on stage full. <laughs> Where I don't want to have a relationship ever. I just want to have sex with strippers and my friend. <laughs> well, they, they're they helping him. I wanted to go to the strip club. Oh, Joey, you missed out. Emily is incredible. I mean, there there are no words to describe her. Wow. And it was, was like... He's really smitten. Oh, and you, Rach. Oh, hey. hey. He's gonna thank her. Thank you so much. What you said about us finally being in a place where we could really be happy for <laughs> each other. I'm totally there. I'm, I'm finally where you are. Thank goodness. <laughs> And thank you for Emily. Oh, no problem. Got there listening intently to this conversation. Happy for you. Oh, happy for you. <laughs> Man, I love when Rachel hits people. You are going to take off my clothes. And you just constantly scream at the top of your voice, Chandler's the king, Chandler's the king. <laughs> I want to be with her. I like her. It's fine. Go with your instincts. Go with your instincts. <laughs> Don't micromanage them. Hi, I'm Joshua. I'm here to pick up Rachel. No, 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 that's not Joshua. <laughs> what do you want from Oh. What are you doing? All right, listen, I gotta wake up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, so that is Friends Season 4, Episodes 13 and 14. Two really, really funny episodes. I mean, I was laughing. I don't... I, how can you measure laughter per minute per episode? I don't know exactly, but I feel like I was laughing more in those last two episodes than I normally even do. And I normally laugh a lot. I realize that. So those were just so, so funny. I mean, the Kathy storyline, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit disappointed. I mean, I guess the show did a really good job of putting us, or at least me as an audience member watching it, in a similar spot as Chandler. Because as I was watching that episode, I'm just looking at things going on. I really was rooting for Kathy and Chandler at least to have a, a window of time. You know, I didn't think maybe they'd end up together like I mentioned earlier, but, you know, permanently or anything like that. But I thought they'd have a window, like a little honeymoon phase, you know, after they had such a great storyline. It was such a satisfying storyline when they finally did get together. But no, it, it kind of took a very different direction. And like I said, the I think the writers did do a good job at making that a surprise. Like, I was like Chandler in a certain sense. Like, basically, like, I really thought that Chandler was just self-sabotaging. Like, he was just being jealous and he was completely, you know, following Joey's rule about if there's no chemistry on set, they must be sleeping outside of the play. You know, and I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, they're actors. Like, Chandler, come on, you can't be, don't sabotage something that you have that's genuine, that's worthwhile. You know, I just, I really felt like the episodes that we saw with Chandler and Kathy it was a connection beyond a physical attraction and beyond even just a regular connection. I feel like they really had something special between both of their personalities, but I guess not. You know, I guess that, I mean, we didn't know Kathy that well, and we got to know a lot more about what type of person she is in these episodes, but it was a twist that caught me by surprise that Chandler, like, were thinking, like, oh, here he is being suspicious for no reason. No, there is, you know, I still think, you know, he was kind of shooting himself in the foot the way he went about this. 
things, but at the end of the day, Kathy's not a keeper, you know. But poor Chandler, you know, now he's like, he's he's just like Monica and Richard, and he's in that tough phase, and I kind of like, I don't know exactly, like, there's enough differences in the way that they handle the storylines, you know, it's very reminiscent of that, of like Monica's sadness, but it didn't feel like we were treading over the same, you know, going over the same territory that we've seen before. It felt very fresh, very different, you know, seeing it from Chandler's perspective, you know, I love little touches like the fact that he had the sweatpants underneath like it's such a Chandler move man like he's trying to move on but he's prepared to move backwards like that's such a that captures so much about who he is and it's such a little detail that's just so perfect nice little touch and then I like you know how they tried to take him to a strip club I thought that was kind of sweet and funny how like Phoebe Monica and Rachel the girls are giving him the guys night out I mean that was great and then of course we end things and what made me like the way that it ended with like Chandler fantasizing about all the girls together is they kind of have set that up earlier right where Chandler talks about you know picturing girls together I feel like they referenced it a couple times this season they might have even mentioned you know Chandler's fantasies about two girls or many girls in previous episodes but I'm just like oh that's right that is something he's talked about it's a nice way to kind of wrap up that storyline Rachel man Rachel has just been dominating as far as just being funny I mean she is it's so hard to pick a favorite and I'm not even saying like favorite like I like the character the most although I do love Rachel a ton but she is just so funny like Jennifer Aniston has like she is just the more I see of her on the show the more I admire her talent and her charisma in a comedy sense and I just I love how much how committed I feel like Jennifer Aniston is to the comedy of the moment you know it, I, I don't I haven't sensed a single moment from watching the show where I watch her character where I sense any type of vanity you know what I mean like it seems like she's very focused on the goal of like making her character as funny as possible even if her character is doing things that are unwise or dumb you know what I mean like she's not afraid to play a character who's very flawed in many ways for the sake of the humor I just love when an actor is so committed to the jokes like that and I also I feel like this season we're seeing sides to Rachel that we haven't before and the more I see of Rachel's character that I'm like I love you even more like just so so funny man I mean I love the whole storyline with her and Joshua not Josh I mean just how quickly she has this like fantasy I just like how she's just like totally checking him out she chickens out on asking him out then she asks I mean I'm look I'll just say I do not think he's interested in Rachel I mean it's pretty obvious that she's very interested in him and I don't know how you could misread the signs you know it's like when Ross was gonna go with that one uh, girl and then he ended up having to babysit for her and it's like whoa how did that get miscommunicated there it feels very similar where Rachel is like basically asking him out on a great date and instead he's like yeah let me take these tickets from you thank you very much I mean I get it I get that the way that she phrased that question could be misunderstood but if you were a guy who is at all interested in someone you would not miss that signal at least that's how I'm gonna guess and then on top of the fact that he invited her to like this club you know he didn't he didn't go to the effort to make Make sure that she got in he didn't follow up to see how she's doing I'm just I'm like that's not what someone would do who's being a cool person that's kind of a garbage move right I mean maybe I'm misjudging him maybe it was just a big mix-up and he's gonna show up later and he'll actually be a cool guy but I don't think so but regardless of whether that works out or not I just I love that storyline what they did with Rachel throughout and then of course it kind of tied in to the ever-present thing that we've seen in this season is that Ultimately, I just don't think Ross and Rachel are over each other, either one. I mean, Ross is in a spot thanks to how that storyline ended with Emily where he's very happy. And it's, of course, when you have someone lined up and you're excited and different, it's, very, it's much, much easier to forget about someone else that you used to date or to be happy for them. And I just think this show demonstrates that so well. I think there's little touches, you know, honestly, not to like make this too profound, but for a silly show that's just focused so much on the laughs, I think there's there's some real truths about human nature you know what I mean and just something like that where it's like when you're doing well it's so much easier to be happy for other people or to forgive and forget or to just move on or to be magnanimous in general and then the second things are not going so well in your life especially in certain categories maybe a romantic area or just in a lot of ways it becomes a lot more difficult I feel like to be selfless and happy for other people and just the truth of 
that and the comedy in that situation was just executed very, very well, in my opinion. And I do like how, of course, we're continuing on, you know, it's it's not something they just glossed over. Like, it's very obvious that the apartment swap is real and it is happening. And I, you know, I appreciate what Monica did. Of course, she misses being a host, but she really did a great job at cleaning up that apartment and making it look so much better. You know, I just, I, I wish, I, I feel like we need like a goodwill hunting type of therapy breakthrough for Monica where someone just holds her and says like, you're enough, you're okay. You don't have to like work so hard and keep proving your worth to be loved and appreciated by your friends or by, you know, a future romantic partner. Cause she does, I feel like her personality type like really leans into working hard and getting control over a situation out of possibly kind of a desire to be loved. But it's like, Monica, you're enough. You have a great personality. You're a great person. Like you just don't go the high effort version. You know, I wish, I wish someone could just somehow give her permission to really let loose and relax a little bit. But maybe that's just her personality type in a certain sense. And in fact, I think it is, you know, and I do think she gets a lot of satisfaction from getting things done and from, you know, reaching her goals and getting a level of control over certain things, being in a leadership position. And there's definitely some aspects of that I can relate to as well. And then we have Joey with Charlton Heston. And, I, and I'm assuming that actually is Charlton Heston, who, um, unless I'm completely mixing up actors and actors name is in like the old movie Ben-Hur. And I'm pretty sure he's also the guy from the old Ten Commandments movie, which I saw both of those when I was a young kid. But I haven't seen Charlton Heston when he's older. But I'm pretty sure that's him. That's, I feel like I recognize his voice slightly. But I thought that that was a kind of a funny storyline with a nice mix-up on <laughs> stinks. You know what I mean? And you could easily see that, right? An actor being like, oh, I stink. You know, would you immediately think of physical smell? Although he was in your shower. So I feel like that's kind of a big hint. But, you know, I just thought that was an amusing mix-up. And then just real quick, like with Phoebe, you know, I, I like how she kind of took charge and was like, was bossing Chandler around a little bit, like trying to get him to just get over his grief, his romantic grief. And I also like little touches with her character too. Like in the moment where Rachel was debating, calling up Joshua, Joshua, and asking him out. And Phoebe's just like, I've asked out thousands of guys. You know, it just, it's a nice demonstration of the differences. You know, like some people, something that is foreign and strange and something they just never do or maybe they struggle to do or they view as odd behavior other people with different personalities different life experiences it's absolutely no big deal and i kind of appreciate phoebe's just like openness and honesty in that sense you know i can totally picture phoebe just like straight up asking a guy out that she likes with no real problem you know it's just there's those differences between different types of humans and that's interesting and real to life but had an absolute blast with both those episodes looking forward to more thank you to everyone for watching as always if you want to support the channel you can sign up on patreon the link is in the description that's where you can watch the full reactions as well as future reactions thank you so much to everyone who does support there and as always remember be active be mindful and be a hero